Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Character Showcase. We are looking at the tainted version of Mammon from the Retribution Pack at the moment. This is a really interesting character that basically we uh, have to pick up these cursed trinkets that were smelted onto us and then we have to sell them at the shop in order to gain items. Items aren't in the treasure room. If we go to a treasure room we'll just find a cursed trinket and in our shop we kind of have tainted keeper style shops where they've got multiple items and they can be from different pools but it's our only way of gaining items um but also the trinkets that get left on the ground will kind of show it as we see them but um they cannot be they cannot be left in the room you have to pick them up if you leave the room and come back they will disappear so there's a bit of risk uh, to it and some of the curses you can get are pretty gnarly and you have to be kind of careful with which ones you pick up and which ones you take i don't think these heads deal damage to you if you touch them but i don't want to figure it out item room and shop are something that we're gonna Leave until the very end of the floor to make sure that we don't get saddled with a really difficult curse early on. Oh, I don't know why I decided to move through that gap there. It was quite obvious that guy was going to do a number on me there, but <clears throat> I got a little unlucky. Right, take you out. Still no curses yet. They can drop from uh, from killing enemies, but they also drop from the killing the boss and mini bosses, as well as from the item room. Sorry, I have to cough there. I had to do a quick pause. But we'll see if we get any from killing enemies early on. Normally you only end up getting two or three on your first floor. You don't end up getting a lot. Normally enough to buy maybe one item, but we'll see how lucky we end up getting. Sometimes the luck flows to me and I get really lucky with the amount of cares trinkets. Other times, like today seemingly, we get almost none at all. We also got to be careful not to kill enemies over gaps and things like that because otherwise we're getting nothing. This is a really awkward room. There's one dead. Damn it, dude. No cursed trinkets this entire floor is a bit unlucky. We should get enough money to at least buy one item. I'm going to go back and check out where the shop is first, even though this is going to be quite a bit of back and forth. I don't mind. I think secret rooms do have the chance to drop cursed trinkets as well, so we should maybe look into that. Okay, this is a potentially good room for us. There's lots of enemies here to kill. There's one of them. So they can, they can be all sorts of different stuff. Uh, they're random each time they drop. This is Grant's Curse of the Unknown. Sells for seven. Okay, so we can't see our health. And it sells for seven. This is another good room for us. Got a chance of getting uh, getting one here. I don't believe the health pool of the enemy has any bearing on if they drop a trinket or not. Unfortunately, didn't get one there. We did get some money out of these poops, which is rather nice. And we'll go do our boss now and then sell our uh, the trinket that we get from our boss. I also don't know if the quality of the trinket... Like, if the quality of the enemy you kill to get the trinket influences, like, how powerful the trinket is sort of thing. Some more money there, lovely. This character's all about money, so we're going to be trying to grab it wherever we can. Right, let's see what boss we've got to fight today, shall we? I've been playing a bit of Risk of Rain 2 in my free time at the moment, and I was wondering for the question of the day, what's kind of your go-to time killer game? Like, I know a lot of people play, like, Bal uh, Balotro, things like that. Um, what, or Slay the Spire, what's kind of your, like, favourite thing, but, yeah, I've been playing a lot of Risk of Rain, and I've started actually recording some videos on it again, because even though it doesn't do great on YouTube and my channel, I do just enjoy playing it, and I, I feel like I've been playing a rogue, like, I should be recording it, um, and so I've been recording a little bit, and I've actually been trying to play through the Eclipse mode, which is kind of like Slay the Spire's Ascension mode, where it's like, you have to... You have, like, a difficulty modifier, then you have to win on that difficulty modifier, then you unlock the next one, and it stacks another modifier on top, and they have to win on that one. It goes all the way up to eight. I'm still on one at the minute, so I'm still a ways off. Um, chance to remove a coin and spawn a spinning penny when an enemy dies. Okay, that doesn't matter. Okay, so that's a good item there. Probably want to buy that if our shop is a little worse for wear. And now we've got to go to our item room and get what we can from there as well. And then we can go to our shop, and you'll see the little dude in the shop that we can sell stuff to. I'll bomb this as well, because I do need some HP if I can get it. Oh, the double Soul Heart Tinted Rock is, like, the most satisfying thing. Um, depending on max health, enemies may spawn flies on death. Doesn't matter to us either. Let's go. So, hopefully we get a shop that is teeming with beautiful, beautiful items. But you'll see there's a little dude in here, here he is, um, that we're going to be able to sell some stuff to. And he'll give us a bunch of pennies of varying kinds. And shop item purchases, even if unaffordable. That's actually pretty good. Um, we can gain some damage based on how low amount of keys we have. 
So I'm gonna grab this, I think, and then I'm also gonna leave those and go and grab the uh, the item there, because we'll only be one coin in debt at that point. Secret room, I'm guessing, is here, which I probably could have gotten with that bomb on the tinted rock there if I'd have played my cards right, so... Bit of a waste, but... Ooh. Um... I will, I will grab one of those and take it to the next floor with me. I can do a firing direction. And get some bonus stats. Right, so we can buy this item even though we can't afford it. It'll put us one coin in debt, but we gain a lot out of that, so that's really good. Having the, the, the debit card there, whatever it's called, Dad's Wallet, is going to be really, really nice for us, actually. So if I do blank letter tile and then I just go, like, back this way, whenever I'm firing this way, I gain fire rate and damage. So I'm not always going to play into that, but I'll try if I can. Um, if, I can if I can fight my boss by firing that way, then I will, but it's not always going to be plausible for us to utilize that fully. But it is what it is. But yeah, if you guys want to see some more Risk of Rain content on my channel, do let me know. Because it's, it's one of the games that I really enjoy recording and really enjoy making videos on. It just never seems to do well on the channel. Um, and I'm, I don't know. Maybe it's just because it's not like well established in sort of the stuff that I normally do. But eh, it is what it is. YouTube's kind of fickle at the moment. I'm, I'm, I'm trying not to question it or really pay too much attention to the numbers. Increase the drop rate of Curse Trinkets. Decrease the sell value of Curse Trinkets. That's kind of sketchy, because <laughs> that could mean we get a lot and a lot of curses that really screw us over. But I don't know, I'm, I'm, I'm down to try it out. This is, this is kind of horrible. This is perpetual fire. Yeah, like, just how was I meant to escape that without taking damage? Uh, it's worthless each time we take damage, okay. Boom bow. Boom bow. Okay. We're gonna have a lot of chaos trinkets to work with here. Um hearts can no longer be picked up. Attempts to heal through any other means will fail. Health can still be lost or taken away. It's a bit risky to take this, because I'm guessing that means I can't take soul hearts if they come my way too. Which is awful. But eh. It's risky. I like this character. One of the big things I love in roguelikes, and you guys probably already know this, I do love a bit of risk-reward, and this character, this character's selling me risk-reward pretty, pretty goddamn hard. Trying to fire left when I, uh, right when I can, just try and get that bonus fire rate and damage. 25% chance to not fire a tier is pretty rough, uh, but I'll take it. So 25% chance is actually a really, really high amount, to be honest. But we're dealing good damage at the moment, so it's not that big of a concern. It's just, the biggest thing for me is like, when you expect to knock an enemy back and your tier doesn't fire and you don't knock them back, that's where it's really going to screw me. So we'll kind of just see how that goes. Um... Familiar that steals pickups, he's going to be annoying as all hell, but I'll take him. Good, good. Ooh, a golden penny as well. We might be able to uh, skip out on the boss here. I'm going to do all my regular rooms and not do the boss with all these curses, because I feel like doing the boss with all these curses is going to be, ugh, not good. <laughs> not good at all. Oh, that was really, really stupid. I shouldn't shoot that fire. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not fighting you. Just, just, just get out of my way. Right. We have a lot to sell here. A lot to sell. Now, the sell value is depreciated a little bit because of that one uh, trinket we have. The only thing is, I'm not sure if the. Uh, the value listed when I picked it up is depreciated, or if it'll just be like, say it says 10, it'll actually give me 7 sort of thing. I'm not entirely sure. Um, removes golden key. That's just not worth taking, because we then can't get into the shop. Ah, oh my god. How dare you. Dude, these, these enemies are kind of everywhere at the minute, and they're really awful, to be honest. They're really awful. Look how fast that poop moves. And by the time I, like, take care of the poops, there's another dude chasing me. Do you know what? Screw you guys. Oh my god, screw you. You're so annoying. Okay. 
Right, a little worried about not being able to heal right now. It's definitely our concern. Okay, good. One more trinket from enemies would be nice, but sadly, we don't get it. We do have a get one here. Okay, cool. Right, now we'll go to the shop and we'll leave our boss to last. And we can sell all of this for god knows how much, to be honest. I have no idea how much we're going to end up getting. But I'm hoping our shop has some lovely stuff in it. Obviously, as with uh, Tainted Keeper shops as well, there's always the chance that what's in there is just trash. Um, Actually, some pretty good stuff in here. Some pretty good stuff. Uh, I'll bomb that as well, to be honest. Right, I I think I'm going to take pretty much all of this, you know. Why not? Emergy glasses is decent. Uh, spider box is pretty good. Whatever box of spiders, whatever it's called, is pretty good. Uh, pay to play is really, really nice for us because um, we're getting money more often and it means that now we can take that one that shoots out all our keys and not worry about it, which is kind of good. I like it. I do wonder if Dad's wallet works with pay to play. I'm curious. Well, let's do our boss. We've got this. Ooh, we got Bart. I haven't seen Bart in some time. Bart's a fun boss. Oh my god, he's a fun boss, but I forgot he did that. Devil deal I'm not too bothered about. I'd like to get an angel deal at some point, but I'm not going to fret about that. Emoji glasses doing some great stuff for us. And what we get here. The next shop you visit will have will not have a trinket trader. That's not even remotely worth it, so I'm just not going to grab that. Plus one HP, taking damage to a chance for Isaac to spit up a random food item in his inventory. Chance scales with luck. Well, I don't have any food items in my inventory at the minute anyways, and we'd have to go into debt to grab that, so... Makes our choice a little easier. Makes our choice a little easier. Curse of Montezuma. Oh, we got the curse bug. I really need to... Hold up. How, how is it that you disable these? Um... I forget what the eclipse. Eclipsed. Curse. All? Disable. Um. There, there's a command for like turning off these curses, and I can't remember what it is. Either way, we're going to have to deal with it for now. I'll figure it out in due time. Right now, we don't have any trinket curses on us, at least. So that's good. Oh, Curse of Montezuma is really annoying. It gives us a, a poop trail in active combat rooms, which makes our movement all slidey. And those of you that have seen me take that item that gives you this, you know how much I hate it. I take so much damage to this stuff. Ooh, I'll leave that Eternal Heart there for now, uh, just because otherwise I think I'll end up losing it to stupidity. But it's nice to have. Oh, goddamn. I'm slipping and sliding around all over the place. Big tier, not going to fall for it. Unfortunately, Emergy Glasses does make it slightly hard to be accurate consistently. I'm just going to play my cards right and uh, stay out of things way, to be honest. Because while I'm sliding around like this, there isn't much I can do to stay safe on purpose. I think it's only when I'm firing, actually. Oh, no, no, it's not. It's all the time. No curses as of yet. So at the minute we're a bit lacking on money, which isn't ideal. Okay, these guys shouldn't be too bad. Bernie fellas. What we get here? Damage taken is doubled. That seems risky as all hell, so I'll take it. <laughs> Just don't take damage, genius. Now, to be honest, I was about to say, not taking damage is just not plausible right now, because of this Montezuma's curse thing, and I've got about a billion curses. Dude. Dude. One of my curses made me have to redo the room. Although... I won't, I won't be so sad if I get a curse trinket out of this again. If it actually... Yeah, okay, give me the same one, dude. Does 
does this quadruple my damage is the question because that could be crazy I i'm not i'm not willing or wanting to find out <laughs> to be honest but we'll see what happens we we got really good damage though with uh with the emoji glasses they seem to be giving us some good stuff so many keys that we don't need right now Oh my god, oh my god, the slippy is so bad. <laughs> it threatens my life every single moment. Removes one heart container, one heart container, two soul hearts. Grants back the heart container when sold. I will literally die if I get hit if I take this, which is why I'm going to do it. <laughs> um, it seems like a risk that no one should take. But that is exactly why I'm taking it. I'd very much like a bomb so I can get that uh, tinted rock there. But at the minute, I think now we're uh, we're on the path, war path to the shop in the hopes that we can actually survive. Do you know what? I'm going to take the Eternal Heart because that will actually save us from dying. Um, I think even though if I lose the Eternal Heart, I'll be pretty sad. The safety from death is uh, plausibly a bit better. What does this do? Look minus seven. We're already at low luck anyways, so that's not a problem. Here we go. Slightly annoying room here. Dude! Oh, you bastard. I saw that coming from a mile away. Also, both of these are double locked with key... Uh, with thingies, by the way. <laughs> oh, no, no. Oh, no, no, I didn't get enough money to get into my shop. Are you kidding me? No, this is so bad. I'm stuck with these curses now. I didn't even think about that. I, I This this curse that gives us double locks shouldn't even be active right now. I've got about a billion curses active. Oh, my God, thank you. Oh, man, that would have been, that would have been a rough, a rough boss fight if I hadn't have found an extra coin there. Man. That is, uh, that, that, that is something. Right, we're in. And what we got going on here. So, sell you all of this crap. Unfortunately, not an awful lot here. Uh, grants half a soul heart every time you use a card or rune. That's pretty good. Um, scatter bombs. Scatter bombs I'll take, and then piggy bank gives me some money back, so I'll take it. Dude, making me redo the rooms here is just rude. Oh, we got a trinket there, though. Liberty Cap, I didn't see that to start with. I'll take that. Okay. I mainly took scatter bombs because I want a bomb to bomb that uh, Tinted Rock. <laughs> Simple as. And having a few bombs later on is just going to be nice. Yeah, sadly, pay to, pay to win, whatever it's called, pay to play. We cannot, uh... Utilize negative coins. Oh, dude, the double soul heart. It's so nice. We cannot utilize negative coins to open up doors and stuff, which isn't ideal. I'm gonna say, we probably have to redo a few of these rooms, aren't we? Yeah, Piggy Bank just allows us to actually have a way of getting coins if we're running super low. Right, boss. Unfortunately not. Oh, dude, this, this fight I'm going to take some bad damage on because this Montezuma's Curse thing with the, the, old, the old slip and slide. I'm going to slide myself straight into some of that creep, aren't I? I got them know it. Although I've got them charmed at the minute, which seems to be doing an awful lot of good for us. Cool. I honestly don't care about that item, so that's fine. Um, Grant's Curse of the Maze, it only sells for five, but, eh, why not? Right, <clears throat> down we go. Please don't bajillion curse me again. Good, good. Ooh, a planetarium, baby. We skipped our item room that last floor, so we gained some planetarium chance, I like that. The random knockback there, lovely.
Can we get some pennies going? Oh my lord. We're still in debt at the minute though, unfortunately. Do we have any shots that can give us coins from emoji glasses? I don't actually know that. That was kind of close. That guy fired at some high speed. Completing a room has a chance of not <sighs> granting item charges or even remove charges. That's fine. I mean, a, a spider box is nice, but it's not a hard requirement. I think our damage is actually pretty decent with emoji glasses. So while annoying, it's fine. Trying to fire harmful flames while shooting flames deal contact damage and block your tears. Eh, again, kind of annoying, but not terrible. We really need coins right now, don't we? The game could just drop me some naturally spawning coins. That would be ideal, but I don't know if we're going to get that luxury here today. I think that's significantly too much to ask. We need at least three coins so we can get into our goddamn shop. But the game is not forthcoming with them. Secret room could be here. I might as well try it out. This is where we should get some money. Or not. Actually, to be fair, this isn't bad. Oh my god, okay, this was great. <laughs> this ended up being so good. <laughs> was not expecting that. Uh, tears up and damage up? Yes, please. Yes, yes, please. Especially the tears up. Right, okay. Um, we Do we want to sell our curses yet? I don't think we do. I think we're okay to play for a little bit longer. But now we actually have money to work with. We know where we stand. My god, what the hell? What's with all the crocodiles? There's so many crocodiles. They're so slow moving. Seems like certain rooms seem to just randomly favour different tier types. Like this, this room is... Very heavy on the crocodiles for some reason. Let's do our boss. Not a particularly bad boss. Can my fires deal damage to enemies too? I don't actually know. I'm assuming not. Let's get some more HP soon as well. We got ourselves this. Enemy projectiles gain herming. Now that's one that we that we do not like. Um, fraudulent fungus. I can leave there for now. I don't exactly know how devil deals work, but I think I'm going to leave it and go for angel deal regardless. Right, back this way we go. Let's sell our wares. Grab that. Our shops still have been letting us down a little bit here. Planetarium, no Mars, no Sol, no Pluto. What, what's the, the farting one? Neptunus. Is it Neptunus? No. Um, shoot five tiers at once. Ooh. Okay, that's that's pretty good. Yeah. Okay. That's pretty nice. That's pretty nice. We've got some good stuff going on. We have made something worthwhile. All shop prices are reduced by one is a trinket I very much want. We also got a random tinted rock here. Yeah. All shop prices are reduced by one. It's not going to save us a ton, but any savings is a saving. I will take it. And now we can grab fraudulent fungus, I think pretty safely. What I'm looking for now is more fire rate ups. That item from the planetarium, while good, definitely uh, has put our fire rate in a bit of a bad spot. Fungus, thank you. 
heart container and some stats up is nice. I don't think it gives a um, fire rate increase, though, by the looks of it. Curse of Conquest. It's a lot of pills. Firing all these tears is so good. I love it. I don't know if, if uh, champion enemies have any higher chance to um, to drop curse trinkets at all. I feel like there's a potential chance they do, but I haven't really noticed that. Shot speed up, look down. HP up, look down. Two look downs I don't actually care about too much. What makes you larger, health up, and half. Not terrible. Not terrible. The, the, the size up, not ideal, but one size up doesn't really hurt that much. Health can no longer be obtained. That's fine by me. Um, grants a random cast trinket. Oh, random cast trinket when sold, I think it said, actually. Which is slightly more dangerous. That could give us something really bad. Which I'm a little bit worried about. Dude, I love the spinny boy. Just sitting in the middle of the room. Destroying everyone. So yeah, this, this is the one I was talking about. Well, normally we can't take it, but now it it's perfectly takeable because we don't need the keys. The keys don't matter to us at all. And we got one back anyways. I guess obviously we can use them on a key beggar, but otherwise they ain't going to get much use. Holy shit, three nickels. That's kind of crazy. I'm going to go straight in here, considering. Um, minus tears is not good, but we'll get rid of it soon enough, so I'm not that bothered by it. I think our damage output right now is, is perfectly fine, even with lower tears. I don't know how I didn't get hit there, to be honest. That was kind of a miracle. Do I go straight for the shop here? I've got a good few curses to sell. I've got four at the minute. Five, even. I think I do. I think I'll just go for it here. Sell them up, sell them up, sell them up. Shy Onion. What does Shy Onion do? Inflict you with fear for 1.5 seconds on entering a room. That's kind of awful. Allows Isaac to choose between two items after beating the boss. Oh, that's just there's options. Yeah, I'll take that. Um, and then Tears Accelerate and gain piercing once they reach high enough speed. That's really good. Um, one Eternal Heart. It gives flight, but the flight is removed for the floor after three hits. The third hit causes several holy lights. That's pretty good too. And we'll leave that there. The rest of the HP I don't really need and stuff. Yeah, having fear for 1.5 seconds on entering a room doesn't sound that bad, but I actually think that's pretty significant how bad that is. 1.5 seconds is a long time to not be able to fire at anything. Like, there's a lot of rooms that I kill in 1.5 seconds. Look at that. Oh my god, the most perfect spinny. There was a battery back there as well. I should grab really. Let me go get it. So many spiders ready to devour the boss. Like that situation there, I got hit because I couldn't fire. I don't really need an Abyss card right now. Boom. I'll save that for the next floor. Good stuff on an Eternal Heart as well. Ah, oh, that just fills up the one we already had. Okay. Dude, what is going on with those tears? They were wild. Bit of Reap Creep here? Unfortunately, I was like, my spiders are going to wreck the boss. Get a boss where the spiders literally can't reach. Ideal. Thank you, game. I don't have any bombs to kill this guy with quicker either. Just kind of annoying. We should get some good tier effects. Procking off of him from emerging glasses, though. I do not mind that at all. There you go. <laughs> it, like, knocked him back off of the screen there. And we get to buy one of the two items. And the tiers up is, of course, what I'm going to go for. Transfer non-boss enemies to be duplicated on spawn. I'm actually not too displeased by that because that means more potential chance for trinkets that we can sell to the shop. And this last floor is our last shop. At least I think it is. At least I think it is. There's a chance. There's a chance that there is shops on this character on the wound. 
but I'm not entirely sure if that's true or if I've just made that up. Haha, come towards me if you dare. My spinny boy of doom will destroy you. Not a single care trinket there, kind of weird. Don't know what that sound effect was about there, but... Grants a curse trinket when sold. A bit risky, but I'm going to go for it. Deals one full heart of non-fatal damage. Yeah, we'll, we'll just take that. I really like the fact that there's such a wide variety of these curse trinkets. Wait, how come I'm still getting feared on entering rooms? Didn't I sell that? Hmm. I thought I sold that. Hmm. I'm a little worried that that's going to be permanent now, because uh, I'm fairly sure I sold that. Maybe I didn't. Maybe I'm silly. Oh no, I didn't. No, I see it. I see it. It's because it's because I uh, I got it after I sold after I went to the shop, right? It's that little onion thing there, isn't it? I remember now. It's all good. Isaac brain fart. Ow. Bad damage, baby. Arcade. I said, there's not much I can really get out of you, is there, Arcade? I guess I'll just double bomb these guys. The fear stopped me from planting bombs. That. That was a pretty good bombing. A high yield off of the back of that. A very high yield indeed. Okay. Shop is here. I love setting them all up to fire like that. <laughs> it feels so satisfying. Cool. Right. Uh, in here, we have ourselves some good stuff, actually. Salt Lick. What does Salt Lick do? Short speed down. That's fine by me. Uh, I'll definitely take Book of Jubilees, and I will take the Corpse, Corpse Bloom as well. Shattered Dice, not the best, because it can like re-roll itself out of existence but I'll take it it literally instantly re-rolled itself out of existence that's kind of sad but we did get the shop whistle which I think is quality four um shop whistle is going to allow us to spawn shopkeepers which is kind of nice if we have the money to actually utilize them that is let me out I killed everything what do you want from me I got the owl just for the fight there. Thank you. Red mum as well here. Not too bad. Owl just lasted the whole way. And there's our angel deal. Now, is this angel deal going to cost us? Because if it does, oops. <laughs> I didn't think of that. Uh, right. I will take the Polaroid. It's probably going to cost us, isn't it? It doesn't. But it's an active item. God damn it. Also, we got a platinum poop there. Very, very rare. It all worked out, people. It all worked out. Um, yeah, that that was nice. I ended up being able to buy Sacred Heart. That was unexpected, but absolutely beautiful. So the the dice thing breaking straight away, the shattered dice breaking straight away, <laughs> one of the best things that could have ever happened. The rest of this run is now Steam Rule City. Now, as I said, there might be shops on this floor. I don't remember. I'm not going to, like, actively look out for it too much, considering the run is basically said and done at this point with their Sacred Heart. But we might see one on the way to the boss. 
I was imagining there will still be because boosts the power um, and sell value of other trinkets. I guess I'll grab two of those and see if I end up finding a shop I can then grab some more stuff. But yeah, I got really lucky at that uh, that angel deal had two uh, two poops that gave us a ton of money. Without that, that would not have been plausible. It worked out very nicely for me. Hello, good sir. Both are good, but yeah, at this point, at this point, we are off. Book of Jubilee should pay out with some money at some point as well here. That's its most common payout, I think. Honestly, emoji glasses with like the strong herming of Sacred Heart here is is wild. It's so good. I mean, obviously, Sacred Heart is just so good in general. I don't think that needs to be really said, but spe this specific combination seems to be extremely good. There's Book of Jubilee is giving us some money. I think it gives you seven. It can give you seven coins, an Eternal Heart. A, um, a bed, or I don't remember what the other thing is. Maybe it... Holy Mantle Shield, Eternal Heart, Seven Coins, Bed. There's like one other thing it can give you, I'm pretty sure. Oh, God damn! I've taken some pretty bad damage there. Old dice isn't going to do much for me right now, sadly. Why aren't you dying? There you go. That's weird. I can, however, buy this battery and use you again. Ah, oh, come on. I'll buy that. Yeah, now it's just absolute beeline to the uh, to the boss. And don't go the wrong way, which so far I have done a lot. Could have just finished that room, but... Mum's hand, you don't get the pleasure of me killing you. Which, is that really a pleasure? I don't know. So unless I just missed it by that one room over there, no shop. Which means it's weird that the Cursed Trinkets are still spawning, really, isn't it? Um, let's have a look-see. Must be charged by picking up soul hearts, plus one eternal heart. Using item before boss fight makes the boss reward an angel item. The angel item will cost money if devil deal was previously taken. That's a cool idea. I like it. Um. Not great items there, unfortunately. I think I'm just going to leave that be. Take my circle of protection and be on my way. And be on my way. Ah, I'm locked in. No, let me out. Uh, I think after this, I'm going to record uh, probably another episode, actually. At the minute, um, I'm, I am I do apologize, by the way, if there's been, like, a new mod release recently that I haven't covered. And this goes for the next, like, good few episodes. Probably, like, next week, at least, of episodes. Nah. No. Let's say, like, next, maybe next week or the week after and onwards, I'm probably going to be a little bit behind with covering new releases. Because um, on the 27th, at the minute, it's the 12th. On the 27th of this month, I am going on holiday for 10 days, um, which means that I have to backlog an entire 10 days worth of content, including Isaac videos, which means that normally I like to I like to uh, have, a, have a video or two backlogs, but generally I like to be fairly reactive to what happens in the community and what mods release so that I can cover them as soon as. In that time, I'm going to have to have all those videos pre-recorded. So if you are thinking, oh, well, a new mo big mod released and he didn't cover it or... I, I could end up covering it late or whatever. It's because I'm pre-recording a lot of videos right now. Normally, I just record one Isaac video a day when needed. Now I'm recording like two or three a day. 
uh, to get ready in preparation for going on holiday in a few weeks because I want to make sure that you guys are still getting the content you deserve uh, while I'm living it up in Greece. Also, if you ever have the opportunity to go to Greece, do. It's fairly cheap and it's awesome. But make sure not to go somewhere super like, like t touristy or like party central like Malia. Uh, we're staying at a place called, I think it's called CC, something like that. Uh, that's like about an hour down the road from Melia, and it's so much quieter. It's just it's so nice. It's touristy enough where everyone speaks English, but it's not touristy in the fact that, like, there isn't just, like, tons of people trying to sell you shit all the time. It's it's very, very nice. And the, the, the food, Greek food in general is just absolutely divine, but it, Greek food in Greece, they, 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 like, you'll go everywhere to every restaurant and they'll all basically do the same, like, sort of between 10 and 15 meals, essentially, but they do them to perfection. And it's the same when, like, I went to Venice. Like, you go there and they don't, the variety of food isn't really that crazy. You're really gonna get a lot of the same food, a lot of the same type types of pastas um, and, like, pizzas and stuff, but they do them to perfection. One of the problems with the UK, I actually think the UK's cuisine isn't that bad. Obviously, people take the mick out of how bad UK's food is. I actually don't mind the UK's cu cuisine whatsoever, because uh, we basically just bastardize other countries' cuisine by making it British and, and changing it, um, which isn't ideal, but that's what we do, and that's what we've always done. But the good thing about that is it means there's a ton of variety. There's a ton of variety. But that also a bad thing about that means there isn't really many things the UK do really, really well. I'd say the the, the sort of things that jump to mind with UK food that, that, that we do very well is savoury pastry, um, like uh, steak bakes, things like that. Fucking the, the holy land that is Greg's, but... Greg's isn't exactly the best uh, quality option, but stuff like that, we do that stuff really, really well. And, um, and like roast dinners, like like meat and veg stuff like that, we we do that very, very well. But other than that, there's not a, there's not many things that in the UK food that I would say that like shines above what other countries are doing. I think other countries just have far more specialty and focus on the food that they enjoy and the food that sort of. Um, natural to them and they end up doing it so incredibly well <laughs> right we are on to the boss phase one is complete A little speed up in the middle of the fight there why not just doing some shopping while I fight you Take care, fella. You going down. Ah! There you go, baby. I hope you guys did enjoy this one. I did indeed, and I'll see you guys in the next one.